Thank you for watching the NPR channel. In this video, you'll learn how to install piston rings correctly. This product consists of three components, the first ring, the second ring, and the oil ring. You'll be attaching the rings to the piston, placing them in the ring grooves. First, you'll start with the oil ring, then the second ring, and then the first ring. First, attach the oil ring. Attach the space expander to the ring groove so that the end gap lines up with the piston's front mark. Hold the end gap in place with your finger to prevent the attached space expander from slipping. Next, attach the upper side rail. While still holding the space expander's end gap, attach the side rail between the space expander and the upper face of the piston ring groove. Line up the side rail end gap so that it is offset by 45 degrees from the space expander's end gap. Next, attach the lower side rail. Attach it between the space expander and the lower face of the piston ring groove. Line up the lower side rail end gap so that it is offset by 45 degrees from the spacer expander gap in the opposite direction from the upper side rail's end gap. Once these components have been attached, confirm that the end gaps are not overlapping with those of the space expander. The oil ring installation process is now complete. Next is the attachment of the second ring and the first ring. The second ring and the first ring each have a front with an end mark and back side. Always attach the rings with the markings pointed towards the upper side. A ring tool is used to attach the rings. First, Use the ring tool to widen the second ring's end gap and support the ends with your other hand. Pass the second ring over the piston's top land and second land and insert it into the ring groove. Always attach the rings with the markings pointed towards the upper side. Do not open the ring end gap too much. It will be the cause of damage or break the piston rings. The second ring installation process is now complete. Next, attach the first ring. The first ring is attached in the same way as the second ring. As with the second ring, do not open the end gap too much. Always attach the rings with the markings pointed towards the upper side. The top ring installation process is now complete. After installing all piston rings, check if they turn smoothly or not. If the rings don't turn smoothly, they may have deformed. Lastly, adjust and set the positions of the end gap of each ring as shown in the image. Correctly positioning them will prevent gas leaks and initial oil leaks into the combustion chamber. This completes the installation of the gasoline piston rings. Install the piston rings correctly to maximize engine performance.